Hey y'all, today we're going to show you how we make our campfire chicken both in a slow cooker and on the grill. And then we're going to go to Kegel's Mill and we're going to do a little family fishing. All while having a whole lot of fun. Fishing update. I think Addie has given up and has started Pokemoning. And a moment ago, Mikey's resorted to calling here fishy fishy. kitchen we are going to take you on a little adventure today my kitchen too <laughs> and in order to do that we want to show you two different ways to make one of our favorite family dishes so um, the way that we normally make campfire chicken is when we go fishing mm -hmm. I always tease Mikey that we go fishing and I pack chicken in the cooler <laughs> <laughs> or we'd starve. Yeah. We're, we're not the best fishermen, um, are we? <laughs> like, I, I think Addie outfishes both you and I, doesn't she? There, There's a video, yeah. you'd have to go way back <laughs> in the way back, where I took Addie fishing. She had broken her leg, uh -huh. and all summer long she was stuck in a cast and really couldn't do anything. And I was so proud. The day that she got her cast off, I said, Addie, I'll do anything, I'll take you anywhere you want to go to celebrate getting your cast off. She said, I want you to take me fishing, Daddy. And so we did. And I don't think I caught any. And she caught like 15 fish in a row. Yes, and he, count, he counted them all. So yeah. that was fun. But this is one of those dishes that we uh, always pack the cooler and I make on the grill while Mikey and Addie fish and fish. we have a good time. And it's just kind of really cool. So I have recently converted it to a crock pot recipe because we also just like to have it. And so, um, so to do this recipe, you can use any mixture of vegetables that you want. We're going a little bit low carb, and so our, we're using uh, uh, traditionally low car lower carb vegetables, but then we're also using lesser amounts of them than what you would want if you're not eating that way. You just to I just toss it in, fill it up, cook it all day, mm -hmm. pretty much whenever, cook it until um, the vegetables uh, get tender. But so what we're doing here today is a lower carb version, of course, because that's kind of what we do. But what I have, it's thing, yo. yeah, what I have in the slow cooker is two and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken. And so we like thighs. We've got thighs in here. If you like to eat chicken breast, we've made it with chicken breast before. It sometimes it just takes a little less time because you don't want your chicken breast to uh, dry out. Mm -hmm. So to that, I have four ounces of sliced uh, cremini bella mushrooms. Um, you can use any kind of mushroom. If you like mushrooms or use a different kind of vegetable, it's up to you. You keep talking, I'm gonna slice okay. up the butter. I also have a little over two cups, but technically it's because I didn't chop it real thin. Um, two cups of uh, chopped cabbage right here. And then I have about a cup of zucchini cut into large chunks because in the slow cooker it will definitely cook down so you want them in larger chunks or it'll just kind of disintegrate into mm -hmm. there and then you also have a stick of butter that you have sliced up okay can I, can I keep this one no put it down but I already named it it's my pet I named him what Pat Okay, so what we're going to do is we have the chicken down in the bottom and we're going to season it with seasoning salt. If you don't have seasoning salt, you can just use salt and pepper. We're going to season it with seasoning salt. Seasoning salt's better. Yeah. Or, you know, if you have steak. See, I love using steak seasoning on chicken because it's kind of unexpected and it brings a lot of good flavor. So then salt and seasoning salt and pepper. And to that, I forgot to mention, we're going to add a tablespoon of garlic. Yay! I like your tablespoon measurement. That was good. Yes. You know my mom can do that. She can actually point in her hand. Sorry, there's butter on my fingers. <laughs> I got butter fingers. She could say, right there's a dash, and then she just barely moves her fingers. She goes, right there is a teaspoon, and then right there is a tablespoon. So that was you good. You know why? Why we do that? Because we wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Okay. That was awesome. That's true, yeah. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put in the vegetables in the order in which they they kind of cook. Mm -hmm. So 
to that I'm going to add the cabbage and so the cabbage will take longer to cook so I want it lower down than there so it'll get more of the heat and it'll also fill up this. This you is a five tender, nice and This juicy. is a five quart slow cooker and not a six quart slow cooker so it's really gonna fill it up. It'll be okay it's just gonna take a little bit longer to cook for me. Um, I, I like cooking in a six quart but I wasn't the stage manager. The stage manager the daddy brought me the wrong one. <laughs> the assistant brought the wrong one, but it'll work. All right, and to that, we're going to top it with the mushrooms. And then we're going to put the zucchini on top because it's going to be the most delicate of, of, of the things. It's like me. It's like a delicate flower. And so to that, we're going to add a little bit more lorries and pepper because those veggies don't have any kind of seasoning. Again, if you don't like lorries, you can use regular salt and pepper. I probably wouldn't put steak se uh, more steak seasoning in there, but just use regular salt. And then you top it with your butter. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm an expert. Would you like a pat on the back? You butter leave the jokes to me. <laughs> three to four hours until those veggies become tender. Now, you can make this recipe with potatoes if you would prefer. Just chop them up into smaller pieces. You can add little on, corn on the cob if that's kind of your thing. We've done it that way too. Um, I'm trying to think what other vegetables we've thrown in there. We've done it with all, all kinds of different mixtures of vegetables. It'll just be your cooking Sliced time. Sliced onion. Yeah, carrots, your um, celery. You, you can do whatever mixture of vegetables you want or have on hand. Like I said, we chose these because they're lower in carb. Um, you just have to watch your cooking time. And so if a vegetable cooks really quickly like a zucchini you want to cook cut it into bigger pieces and a vegetable takes longer to cook like a potato you want to cook it in smaller pieces so that it'll get done quicker so that you have an appropriate mixture of vegetables so that's how we cook it in the crock pot now we're going to show you how we cook it on the grill and we're hopefully going to catch a fish or two or three in three two one and we're off. Yes. And again, in true good fashion, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we're just not getting out because that's how we do things. We even did a lot of things last night to be in preparation for today. But yes. It still did not work. No. Because so. that's how it always works. Yes. Uh, we are going to a place called Kegel's Mill. Uh, it's the tailwaters of Cataract Lake down in Owen County, I believe it is, and I've been going there ever since I was a kid. My daddy would take me fishing down at Cataract, sometimes at the falls, sometimes at the dam, um, and then... And we've been going ever since ever we, were, we were dating. Yeah, we... Has it been that long? Yes. Dude, we've been going there for 20 years just ourselves. Yes, so... Um, but it's, it's good fishing. It's also a great place to lose your hook all the time because of the rocks, but we've really started enjoying it. Um, uh, we were we enjoyed it a lot. I think when we first started dating, we'd go down there and, and picnic and fish. I do this fish because I don't not because we were dating and we were going camping. It was no. because I, <laughs> I, I have fish. bad luck at this place, but we always enjoyed it. And the 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 state has done a really good job of making it a park like setting. Yes, so there's and, picnic tables and shelter areas. And the best part is, it's free. Yes, it's free. And so pretty early on in our adventures together, I realized that I needed to start packing chicken <laughs> when or something to grill at the grills there. Oh, did you get charcoal? I did. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, because... There isn't usually a whole lot of fish when we go fishing. <laughs> now, I have had a lot of luck there once or twice. I'm not saying, I'm just saying food is a requirement for us to be enjoying ourselves, uh -huh. so I come prepared. So, yes. 
Uh, one of the dishes that I almost always make when we go is what we call campfire chicken. And it's changed over the years of what vegetables we put in. But like we were showing you the crock pot version, it originated for us as a uh, grilling version, which is what we're going to show you. That's what I do while you fish. Yes. That's I do that and I bring a good book and my journals and I just have a peaceful afternoon and then when we get hungry I cook up campfire chicken. Did you forget your wallet? Nope, I got it. Okay. It's right here. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so I knew that panic. Uh, it, it's it's a it's not a good feeling when you don't have your fishing license because that's the only thing it costs to go fishing. Now if you don't want to go fishing down at Gagel's Mill, you could just hang out at the park yeah. and, and just have a great time listening to the water go by yeah, and but beautiful. if you want to go fishing for well I just found out yesterday for state residents it's 17 bucks uh, like 29 I think for out-of-state residents uh, to go fishing in Indiana for a year and the really cool thing about Indiana is Addie is free until she turns 18 yes so, and she catches all the fish so it's yeah she does <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is about that little kid but I could go fishing for hours and not catch anything and she'll and now she'll even bait her own hook and she'll throw out and she'll catch fish all day so pretty much I'm gonna take Addie go, to go fishing so that we can catch some fish <laughs> and then I'll sit there and play games on my phone or read a book or something well so. we're just we're going to have a relaxing day so. yeah and it's beautiful yes. uh, t today it's it's really cloudy but where we're going is gorgeous, so yeah. sun or rain, hopefully no rain. It says um, it's well, actually hopefully rain because fish are coming in rain. Well, I guess. Now you know why I take her fishing. <laughs> so here we go to Kegel's Mill. And you got bait, right? Here we go to the bait store. <laughs> So this is the tailwaters at Kegel's Mill Dam. That's the dam back there, pardon my language. Uh, I've never been down here when the water's been this rough. Um, of course, they're letting a lot more water out of the dam than when we normally come here. So we're definitely not gonna be playing around by the water today because that water is a swirling something fierce. So I think we're gonna go on the other side and the water's a little calmer and I'm hoping to catch me some channel cats today. Stay tuned. So while my fishermen are behind me fishing, I am putting together lunch slash dinner, it's kind of middle of the afternoon, um, with the campfire chicken. And because it involved chicken and getting my hands all icky, um, I decided not to tape all of it, but just to kind of show you how we put it in here. So let's look here. So what we've got here is on the bottom layer, um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Bottom layer, we have our chicken. Um, if you're using tenders, you can just throw them in there. If you're using thighs, you might want to cut them into strips because we're wanting this to cook faster and cook along the line, same time as the um, vegetables. So we've got the chicken thighs on the bottom with um, salt, seasoned salt and pepper. And then I've got garlic dried garlic this is what I use 
there it is. Freeze dried garlic. I also have some freeze dried shallots that I just got from the store. So I threw those in there too. You don't have to do that. You can throw in minced onion if you want. Um, and then I've got uh, sliced mushrooms. Um, and the zucchini at the store was so sad looking so I got squash instead this time. And then chopped cabbage. And more seasoned salt and pepper and then a stick of butter sliced up. So this is the version that we're eating today. Um, and so how I have this is I have one large piece of foil going long ways, you can see. And then another piece of foil under it going sideways. And I'm gonna make a packet. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this one-handed. But um, if you have lots of veggies and lots of chicken, I, sometimes I end up splitting it into two. But because of what I brought today, I think it'll all fit in one. But the important thing is to remember where the chicken is in the whole scenario. So it's on the bottom right now because we want that to go closest side to the heat first when we put it on the grill. So I'm gonna set this down and try and fold it. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Let me set it right there. Mm, maybe not. I don't know that you're gonna be able to see. Here, I'll try and do it with one hand. So I'm gonna fold this over. What we're making is a gigantic packet. Okay, I'm gonna finish folding this first layer, then show you what it looks like, and then fold in the second layer. Okay, I recommend using heavy duty foil for this because it you, you're gonna be hard on the foil and you don't want it to burst. So I've got it just basically, so now I have a seam and the chicken's on the bottom. So I don't want two seams on the same side, so I'm gonna flip this and then put a seam on the other side. So I'm gonna flip this. Now the chicken is on the top. And so now I'm gonna fold this over like that. And over like this. And now the seam that's on the outside is I know is where the chicken is the chicken layer is so to be safe I'm gonna put one more um, layer on and um, put the seam on the bottom so I'll be back after I do that okay so I flipped it back over and now I'm making a nice, neat little package. Okay. okay, I'll meet you over at the grill. Okay, so we're back at the grill now. My charcoal is cooked down and I've got the grate down on the charcoal pretty much. It's like on the second notch, so it's not down in the charcoal, but it's right above the charcoal. And I put my packet chicken side down and now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to wrap a piece of foil over the top of my grill to give it a lid and once I do that I will cook it on 20 minutes on the first side and I'll set a timer and then I'll flip it and then I will cook it for another 20 minutes and then I'll check it to make sure that the vegetables are tender and the chicken is done and if not I'll just keep cooking so usually after 20 minutes on each side the packets done so I'm gonna go do that now okay Google set a timer for 20 minutes okay 20 minutes starting all right in 20 minutes I'll check it hey Addy huh? what do you say we make a bet what is it the last person to catch a fish has to eat a worm. No! What do you think, huh? No. Would that be delicious? No. <laughs> Just kidding. No. Somebody has gotten it! Help! Well, keep reeling it in.
Well, bait your hook and try it again. It was a fish. I think I almost had to eat a big worm. So Addie's trying a new strategy. She's wearing her cowboy hat. And I, I agree, I think sometimes you need a lucky hat when you're fishing. Evidently, this hat is not my lucky hat. Okay, it's time to flip my chicken, but again, I forgot my spatula. I always forget that. So, Mike gave me his machete to try and flip this. Um, I'm gonna attempt this. Here we go. Okay, it wasn't cooking quite as hot as I wanted it to, so I went ahead and lowered the grate even lower down onto the charcoal, and I'm gonna set my timer for another 20 minutes. And we still have fish count zero. Um, I think Addie's given up and she's walking to the dock, and well, Dad's playing a game on his phone while he waits for the fish to bite. I'm just glad I brought chicken. <laughs> hey, Addie, what are you doing? So, the fishing ain't too good today. So, Addie's decided that she's gonna organize her Pokemon cards. I think we're about to pack up and get out of here. Sure, I'm glad Mama made that campfire chicken, aren't you? I think it's done. All right, guys, it's done. So here we go. The chicken's down on the bottom, nice and tender. And then you've got your vegetables, and everybody's just gonna wash up and then make themselves a plate. One pot meal with no pot. Here we go. Well, not much luck on the fishing, but I went fishing for a woman early on, and I got <laughs> lucky, because this woman can cook. Mmm, that squash is good. Mm -hmm. When that butter mixes with the cabbage, mm -hmm. it sweetens it up, and it's, it's just perfect. I didn't want to eat fish today anyway. No. And if I want to eat fish today, there's tilapia in the freezer at home. <laughs> yeah. So fishing was a bust. But we had fun. Had a couple bites. Yeah. But pretty much what we did today was we fed the fish, we drowned the worms. And it's too hot anyway. And the water was too rough. And all kinds of other excuses I could use. But the, the fishing, rocks were hungry. The rocks, yeah. We fed some rocks too. Um, but the fishing just wasn't no good today. But, but it was you had still, fun. Yeah, I mean, it's that's the place where I like to go and be quiet, you know, and just listen to water run and the birds. And there were some kids playing and some other guys fishing down there, but it's just it's a nice peaceful. place to go. It's a uh, uh, Kegels Mill Lake, which uh, any of y'all in Indiana also know it as Cataract Lake. And it was built back in the 1950s, uh, the Mill Creek is the creek that feeds the lake, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers uh, built a dam there back, I think they finished it in 1953, and of course the lake filled up, and then it filled up with fish, and I know that because I have actually caught fish there. Uh, and then where we were at is what's called the tailwaters, the water that runs up from the dam out, and it, sometimes there's good fishing, sometimes there's not. I've seen all kinds of people catch fish there before. But um, the water was really high today. It was. The water was really high and it was swirling. That's the that's the strongest I've ever seen that current. So. That's the highest I've ever seen the water there. And you have to listen for the alarms and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because if an alarm goes off, you're supposed to get out of there. You're supposed to run forest, run. <laughs> um, but it was it was fine. It's just the water was way higher than we've yeah. ever seen it. And it was really strong. On the other side you could see it just swirling, so wanted no part of that. But uh, we'll definitely come back some more this summer, yeah. um, just because it's it's our place. That's where we like to go and chill out. Uh, you read. Hattie ends up organizing her Pokemon card deck, and this time, sometimes she draws. Yeah, sometimes but she reads. 
I think what we should do sometime too is also show them the falls. Because did you know <laughs> that Cataract slash Kegels Mill Lake has the state's largest waterfalls? Really? Yep. It's the upper and lower falls. The lower falls is where I would always fish as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, Dad would take me and my brothers out and we would go catfish in there all night long. And usually the next day we would come back with just all kinds of fish. And Cataract Falls was one of the first places, one of the first outings we took as a family with little Addie. Yes, and that was also, I believe, maybe one of the first places I took you fishing and you caught a turtle. And you were mad. I remember. <laughs> but we'll definitely come back. I don't fish back. anymore. <laughs> so, she, yeah, she doesn't fish. I just fish. read. <laughs> she reads books and watches me not fish, too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll definitely come back. because. Yeah. It's a, it's just a cool, it's a cool place to go. A lot of good memories there, and we're making more memories now with Miss Ad. So yeah, and so we've showed you how we made campfire chicken on the grill, and now we're gonna finish showing you campfire chicken from the crock pot. Here we go. And we're back from our little excursion out to Kegel's Mill, out near Cataract Lake, which is in Owen County, Indiana, home to the rednecks like me. <laughs> but we did our campfire chicken there. Yes. And now we're going to do our campfire chicken from a crock pot. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that. Mushrooms and cabbage and chicken. And zucchini. And one happy redneck. Oh, yeah. Yes. There's a piece of zucchini right there. Yes. Now, it is like fall apart. So, if that's yes. not and we your use cup chicken of tea. Tend or we use chicken thighs, so it's definitely fall apart. Very I'm talking about the zucchini. Well, the yeah. zucchini is definitely fall apart. Yeah. But if that's not your cup of tea, you can toss it in later, or you can just leave it out and, make, and use a different vegetable. I got you a fork too, you want some? Okay, but you're kind of like blowing all over there, so. <laughs> you like that adaptation? He hadn't tasted this one yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> From here, he's yeah. had it at the campfire, like, yeah. all the time. Oh my gosh, with that. <laughs> so, zucchini, good. Mm. Chicken thighs, real good. Mm. Mushrooms to die for. And to me, it's because of the butter. Mm -hmm. And I, we like seasoned salt. We definitely are fans of Lowry seasoned salt. And so when the butter and the seasoned salt cooks down into those vegetables, it just gives them such a flavor. And a mushroom is gonna take on the flavor of whatever you put in it, which is why you usually cook mushrooms in butter, because they get so buttery and good. But that combination, and cabbage does too. Cabbage pulls on the flavor or whatever, and that zucchini is just so delicate. Well, and I will say, if you haven't tried cremini, I think I'm saying that right, mm -hmm. mushrooms versus just the white button, like, where they're just a little bit darker, they have such a deeper flavor. I think so. I agree. So. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Yep. Y'all. This is one of them dishes that's a mandatory Mikey make that. <laughs> this is one of those dishes that's like a really simple way and it's simple to adapt. We've also made, we've also tossed like frozen green beans in there before. Um, you could do frozen broccoli in there. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff. It's chicken and vegetables, what, but just yeah. with that butter and the, and the season salt. And the crock pot gosh. or the grill mm -hmm. does all the work. It just kind of really, really pulls those flavors together. So. We like to be pulled together. <laughs> Don't you? We thank you guys for watching another episode of Cook and Chris's Dishes with me, the good old boy. And if you like what you saw down below, there's a little bit of like button, a little bit of thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. And then also, if you haven't become a member of the Crock Posse, click the subscribe button down below. And you will be a welcome member of the Crock Posse that is growing every single day. Also, if you want to see what we're doing as soon as we put it up, Click the little ding-a-ling down below. That's the little bell that lets you know when we put something up just for you. And whatever you do, we want you to laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye, guys. Bye. Kegel's Mill, where we're going to do a little fishing. Oh, while well, having a lot of fun, I came in really late. I know. I'm sorry. I was fishing. Yeah. What's wrong, bud? No, this is not going to What happened? My sunglasses are my hair. Glad you find it funny. I don't have that problem. Uh -huh. I don't wear sunglasses. Uh -huh. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny enough to send us money, click the picture.